Hello, my name is Christopher, and today I'm going to show you how to install Homer on Cosmos Cloud using Big Bear Cosmos, a third party app store. So, a little bit about this series I'm going over Home Labs, so installing things, getting things set up, everything like that. So, if you're interested in that, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel. And let's get started. I wanted to let y'all know about the Big Bear community. We just launched a uh, community on community.bigbeartechworld.com. It's based on Discourse. So, Go on there, join it, and uh, say hi. So, let's get back to your registered programming. So this is what I'll be installing today, a simple yet powerful dashboard for your server. Um, it's easy drag and drop system, over 7,000 icons available, seamless integrations, authentication system, 26 la languages available, accessible for colorblind and disabled, uh, detailed settings for customization, and connect your infrastructure, and it has a pretty big community. So, this is what I'll be installing today on Cosmos Cloud. So now I'm going to start on Big Bear Cosmos. It's a third-party app store for Cosmos Cloud. And this app store is synced with Big Bear Cosmos OS. Um, so uh, it, it's maintained by Big Bear Tech World and the Big Bear community. Um, you'll, you'll need the app store URL right here. And here's the, how to install it. Market, sources, and add source, name, and then URL. And it's got quite a few apps in it from Big Bear Cosmos OS. And I did make a how to set up Big Bear Cosmos on Cosmos Cloud, but I'm going to be going over in this video as well. So I'm going to go up here and copy the App Store URL right here. I'm going to copy it. Then I'm going to go over to my Cosmos Cloud and get it set up. I'm going to start on my Cosmos Cloud. I'm going to go to Market. And then I'm going to go to Sources, click it. Then I'm going to Add Source. And I'm going to put the name in as Big Bear Cosmos. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to put the URL that we copied over from Big Bear Cosmos. And then I'm going to save. So now you can see it reloaded and it's got Big Bear Cosmos OS down here. So that will let you know that the uh, Big Bear Cosmos is in because the B B Big Bear Cosmos is synced with Big Bear Cosmos OS. So anything in Big Bear Cosmos OS should be in Big Bear Cosmos. Um, I haven't tested everything uh, just yet. I'm making videos on it slowly. So we got the App Store set up. So I'm going to start on Big Bear Cosmos. And uh, I'm going to go over to search right here and type Homer. So now I'm going to go in the folder and the, the description.json. So the name of the description, the long description, the tags, the repository that it's synced with, the image, and the supported architectures are AMD64 and ARM64 and the icon. Um, the, the supported architectures are what the Docker image supports. So this Docker image over here. So now we're in the Docker Compose. So the, the name is Big Bear Homer a ser a Services. And then the first service underneath the service is, is a service name. It's a dynamic variable. Um, so, uh, the container name is going to be service name as well. And the image is coming off of GitHub because of the GHCR and that's the URL. If it didn't have the URL right here, it would be coming default off of Docker hub. Um, so this is the Docker image and this is the Docker image tag restart and let's stop. So that means if you stop it for any reason, it will not try to restart, but if it fails any other reason, then it will try to restart. And then volumes down here. So the service name, which is dynamic, and a data, service name, data two, and service name, data three. And then uh, the left side is on the host side, and the right side is on the container side. Do not ever change the container side. App data configs, app public icons, and data, and then var run docker.sock. Var run docker.sock gives this container access to the Docker engine. Um, so now ports are 7575 on the host and then on the container is 7575 and then the host name is service name and then the, the minimum version. The container name up here is so Docker doesn't have to generate a random name for this container. So uh, if we go over down, down the icon right here, it's just the icon that will be used. So. That's a little bit about the Big Bear Cosmos, Big Bear Homer. So I wanted to let you know uh, about the Big Bear Club. 
uh, uh, you can join it, and it greatly supports this channel, and I very much appreciate it. So, uh, if you'd like to join the Big Bear Club, you can go down in the YouTube description and uh, go to my Ko-Fi link and join it from there. So, let's get back to registered programming. So, now I'm going to get home reinstalled. So, I'm going to go over to Market. And then I'm going to go to search right here and type Homer. So now I'm going to go to the Big Bear Cross OS one right here. And I'm going to click it. And then I'm going to scroll down to install button right here. And then you can customize it before it's installed, but I'm going to go with the default. And I'm going to press next. So, so now it gives you a, an example of what it's going to do. So the services and then the minimum version, the networks, the volumes down here, and it's gonna create the volumes and it's gonna create a network. So now I'm gonna create, now it's downloading the Docker uh, image off the registry, getting extracted and getting up with Docker Compose underneath. So now I'm gonna close it and I'm gonna close it. And then now if you go over to serve apps, you should see Big Bear Homer is installed now. So. We got it set up. So now if you go to the URL right now, uh, you'll get this site can't be reached. Um, I'm thinking that there's a bug in Cosmos Cloud, but I'm not sure. So I'm going to go to the cog, and I'm going to completely delete this URL again. I'm going to go back in the serve apps, and then I'm going to create a new URL. And then now I'm going to confirm, refresh, and now, if you go back in here, you'll get 404 page not found. So, that's what you should be getting. So now when we're on the serve apps, um, you'll see the ports over here. And it says, warning, this port is publicly accessible. Um, we're going to need to create a URL. And a URL is to where it's going to proxy to the container without exposing the container like this would do. To where you just go to 7575 uh, and then you get to that. We're going to go to the URL and I set that up. Um, I'm going to come down here to view details and then go to network and then host a port right here. I'm going to clear it out. Then I'm going to say update ports right here. Okay, now it should be updated. So we'll go back to the serve apps and you can see it isn't uh, exposing the host port anymore. So now I'm going to go create a URL. So the name, the description, the container name, and then 7575 is on the container port. That's correct. And then the container protocol, the use host. So you'll go to this IP and port right here to get to the uh, UI. And um, now I'm going to confirm, refresh. So now you will see a red dot right here. So we got to do a little bit different on the setup. I'm going to walk you through that. We got the URL set up and we got the host port uh, cleared out so it's not exposed anymore. So now I'm going to go over the serve app settings. So uh, you can see updates, uh, pause, stop, restart, recreate, kill. You can see the ports, the networks, the URLs, and you can turn on auto update to container, CPU percentage, and RAM for the resources. You can go into view t uh, more details, and you can see the uh, same thing up here. The image being used, the ID, the IP address, and then the health, um, the URL, and you can see it's running. Um, you can go over to the left side right here and see logs. It's great for debugging. You can see monitoring. This is an awesome feature, being able to see the resources and the network. And you, you can uh, filter by hourly and da a daily. Um, you can see the events that happen. This is a great little feature too. And you can filter up here. The terminal and then compose to see what the, uh, the comp compose file looks like. And you can uh, say edit up here. You can go to Docker and you can see the image, the restart policy and then the user interactive mode, and then environment variables, and then labels, and then um, you can add device. You can also update the container if you've changed any of these up here. So um, now I'm going to go to networks. So the network mode, and then you can expose ports down here. And uh, once you're done editing, you can update ports. And um, 
you can go to storage right here and you can see volumes and binds and you can see the source and the target so you can unmount as well you can put a new mount in and do a bind or a volume um and now when you're done editing this you just say update volumes down here so um now i'm going to go over to the url so if you go over to urls right here you can get to the ui by clicking this and you can see the target serve app uh, if you go in the url you can see the description the url the target the security that's currently on and then the monitoring of error success and bytes and time and a little gra a graph over here you can see the setup so name description the mode you can have proxy, static folder, single page application, redirection, the container name uh, of what you want to direct it to, the container port, and then the container protocol, and then here's a preview. Um, the use host, so uh, you'll be going to this in your browser, and a use path prefix, and authentication required, smart shield protection. You can restrict access to Constellation VPN. That's a new feature. And then advanced settings down here. You can hide from dashboard the um, the, the home over there. And you can overwrite those header, uh, the whitelist inbound IPs. And you can press save once you're done editing. You can go to security over here. So authentication required, admin only forward IP and host headers to target, disable header hardening, smart shield protection, and some options for that. And then the limits, block common bots, and then block request without referee header. Um, and then when you're done editing, you just say uh, pr press the save button down here. And then the monitoring request and resources. I really like these graphs. And uh, hourly and daily the events that happen and you can filter up here and you can export so that's a little bit about the serve apps and the urls in cosmos cloud so now i'm going to get the homer set up so uh take note of the port right here of your url so i'm going to go ahead and go into it you'll get the 404 page not found so I'm going to change that and I'm going to go to here and then I'm going to put the port of 7200 on it and then now go to the onboard. So now you can see the welcome to Homer, your favorite dashboard has received a big upgrade and then I'm going to start, start update process. Now I'm going to put a username in and um, a password in and then another, uh, the, you're going to confirm the password. So now I'm going to continue, and then uh, it says, uh, congratulations, you set up Homer. So I'm going to go to the board. So now you can see the board, and we got it set up. So now I'm going to go over the UI. So uh, you'll have base cards right here of what they put in for you. Um, you can search the ca cards, like Discord right here, and um, you can go into edit mode up here. And um, you can move the cards around. This is a really nice feature. And you can move it over here. Um, you can exit and save. So when you move it, uh, this would exit and save it. You can add a tile right here. So you can go in here and you can add your own uh, tile to it. So you can see it's right here. The one that I just created. And exit and save. And for some reason, it has a little bit of a buggy on saving up there but it is on there um you can see the docker right here so you can add docker cont containers so you can go and you can check mark it and you refresh data restart stop start remove and you can add to the board and there we go it's now added to the board so um you can customize the board the layout and access the grid stack, the page meta, and the appearance, um, the custom CSS. So um, you can go backwards. Then um, I'm going to try to move around this one again. So I'm going to move it over here and then move it over here. 
and it did stay that time. So it does work. Um, so that's a little bit about the UI in Homer. So I just went over step-by-step step on getting Homer set up on Cosmos Cloud using Big Bear Cosmos, a third-party app store. So uh, if you like this tutorial, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel. And if you have any video suggestions or you need community support, you can go to the Big Bear community and join our forum. There's a link in the YouTube description. So stay tuned for more.